Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So it's Saturday, so I absolutely love weekends and when I was getting ready this morning I thought to myself, let's just do something really informal, really quite natural, just no planning or anything at all, let's just talk. So this is all about weekends and Saturday. Of course, when you've had that real hard long week and you've been working really, really hard and let's be honest, there is so much stress out there, whether that be related to jobs, whether that be related to worrying about finances or the COVID situation we all find ourselves in. Sometimes it's just really, really nice just to switch off. And I know I absolutely love to on a Friday evening after everything busy of the week, I work full time. So it's really, really nice just to be able to put a film on or a movie, whatever you want to call it, have some snacks, have some drinks with family, with friends, whoever is in your, I suppose we have to be careful what we say here, in your bubble of because of the COVID situation here in the UK. But for me, I'm really, really fortunate that I live with family and I am very, very close to all of my brothers and my parents. And weekends, yeah, just really, really special. So for example, this weekend, what have I done this Saturday morning? So I have gone and had my hair cut. I've had, um, I had this all refreshed up. So the sides have had cuts here. So literally 0.5 and then to a one, and then we've got a defined line into a two. So I've had that done here. I used the Flanola uh, purple shampoo in my hair last night. So it made my hair really nice and super shiny and uh, silvery. So that was really, really cool. That was a thing which I sometimes do every other week on a Friday. Um, watch some really, really good films, which is really quite cool always um, to do. Sometimes I like to do it just on my own. Sometimes when you've been talking on the phone all week to colleagues and meetings and things, sometimes it's just nice, just pure silence, especially with my hearing problems. Sometimes if I'm doing something, it's just really, really nice to take my hearing aids out just to enjoy some silence that sounds strange, doesn't it, or some soft music. I really, really love to do that. Absolutely. Um, another thing I quite like to do for Friday evening is uh, we've covered watch a good film, have a few drinks. I, I really like wine and I quite like brandy. I'm not into it. I'm not a huge alcohol drinker at all, but I do like a glass of something really, really quite nice. That's quite um, that's quite nice to do with family. And it's really nice sometimes to then get takeaway as well. That's really, really good. Wherever you are in the world, that's always a good move. Um, Saturdays are always for family, I think, catching up, doing things. And of course, now for the Christmas season coming on us, I know it is early, but I always start my Christmas shopping probably September, first, second week of September. So I'm really, really early. So I'm about halfway through to getting everything done. What are we with the 24th of October? Um, this week's been incredible because it has been my brother's my brother's birthday so my eldest brother he's had his birthday we had a really really lovely time um fortunately we didn't think that was going to happen his partner um came over she lives in america so we've done all the, the quarantining um requirements and everything and um that was really really lovely for her to spend time with us. such a lovely lovely person so it was really really cool and, and just awesome there we go i said it rather than keep using that word lovely it was just awesome it really really was so we had a special time so then the weekend was really nice just to reflect on everything um what else am i doing saturday so it's saturday of course today so i am off with my niece and my second eldest brother um i really really love the full time i love autumn and all and everything in it um autumn is such a great month um one of the greatest things I like to do is pumpkin pie. Um, and I have to admit, I am a really, really keen baker and I love making all sorts of things. My twin brother is a chef. Um, my mum is fantastic in cooking. My nan is, was, bless her, she has Alzheimer's now, so it's a very different situation, but she's a fantastic cook. My mum is, my, my twin brother is absolutely exceptional and I love baking and things. I love making it. I don't necessarily enjoy eating it. That's strange, isn't it? But I'm not a huge foodie person, um, but I do love making it. But I love to see other people appreciate it as well. That's a really cool thing. Um, so I'm off to do that with my niece and I said that we would make some cakes and things with her today. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I love spending time with my nieces and nephews. Um, and all, all of my family. Um, yeah, I'm a, you could say I'm a really, really family person. You really could. <laughs> um, what else? So let's just think about this. So then of an evening, what better than to really tone down and really just, oh, I'm ready for a review. That's obviously going to be happening. Um, an update rather today. So that's going to be happening. Um, and then, of course, of a Saturday evening, just having a really nice chilled evening and just again with family, I think. Sunday's always for me, ever since and it's really quite difficult at the moment with the COVID situation, of course, for everybody. But Sundays is always my day. I always look after my nan with my mum um, and I spend time with her. Of course, it's a bit difficult at the moment because her where she is at the moment in her care home it's on lockdown but i still call i call throughout the week to make sure she's okay but where she is we're very very fortunate it's sort of um 
it's sort of like uh, a care home, but we're very privileged in the fact that my nan has like her own apartment, um, and it's very big, it's very spacious, it's lovely, and she's looked after extremely well, and she has people 24-7, uh, 24 hours a day, to make sure that she is okay. So she's 94, so you could say that brings me some relief sometimes, but it doesn't, so I'm always um, thinking of her, and it, and it worries me to death, it really, really does. But um, So Sundays were always for that day, so at the moment, if I can't see her, it's really, really difficult, and I would see her throughout the week as well at times, but um, Sundays for me, they really, they're really a bit of a heartbreak at the moment through not being able to see her. But every night when I go to bed, the picture's just behind me. There she is. Um, but my my brother, that's me and my twin brother behind us there. And um, I always have a word and I always, and I always make a prayer. And, um, and hopefully she will be well and looked after for a long time to come. But yeah, what else have a weekend? So of course, family is absolutely key. It's great to catch up with things. Um, always get a haircut every other week. Always get my sides freshened up and everything. Um, I really love the silvery look, what's going on at the moment. Really, really love that. Um, that's really, really cool. Studying, I need to get myself back into that with health problems and things going on at the moment. I am in it, but I'm having a bit of a problem with um, making the examinations. Um, so it's a bit of a trek from where I am, and I say that because I have to use public transport. And with everything with COVID at the moment, um, I think I'm classed as vulnerable. I think I'm classed as vulnerable. It's horrible being called that, but because of the amount of problems and things I've got at the moment um, in relation to my groin affecting my walking, that's something I have to sort of... I have to sort of weigh up, so I have to be really, really careful, of course, like a lot of other people. Um, I seem to pick up things very, very easily, very, very quickly. Um, and strangely, I do seem to get quite a lot of health problems, but I don't let it affect me. I'd like to try and stay positive. I like to try and stay upbeat. Um, I'm positive. I absolutely do. Um, but it's important to still carry on and push on with life as well. I'm already looking at holiday plans for hopefully next year when we can all get back to some sort of new normality. Um, I'm very, very busy with work. Um, like as I'm sure a lot of people are so it's it's great to take a moment and sometimes just to sometimes just think collect your thoughts together in my room just to sort of think about what's gone on in the week and just to write myself some notes and I keep a diary sometimes of things going on as well um, but right now what I'm doing is I'm pushing on with Christmas preparations Christmas is huge in my family so I love Halloween so that's going to be coming up first um, I'm thinking of what I can do with my channel for Halloween we might well be doing something I'm not too sure at the moment but that's something which I really, really love. I love doing all sorts of uh, baking and things around this time of year um, for the fall sort of season, autumn sort of season, which is great. I love that. But right now I'm thinking of all ideas for Christmas and gifts and things. There's so much to do and so many preparations. Um, I hope that with the restrictions here in the UK that our family comes together, everybody comes together. We have a um, we have a Christmas Eve party, so everybody visits in our family. And um, that's really, really lovely. So gift preparations and things and then of course there's my wrapping and everything and that has to be I'm very OCD with that so ribbon bows you name it I do it on there so I really go to town with absolutely everything and it's the whole the whole shebang absolutely everything no expense bed if I can do it I save all throughout the year to be able to do a very lavish Christmas so that's what I love to do what else is on my mind this this well I'm and another reason why I'm doing this as well is because I am I, I seem to find myself a very very thoughtful at the moment like um like, because of the health problems and things I'm having uh, and dealing with for so long, I seem to be sort of stuck in one position. So that's really getting me down lately. So I'm really trying to keep busy with throwing myself in things and everything. Um, and just really trying to sort of keep busy with things. And then I do find that afterwards my, my sort of mindset sort of seems to fathom out. But um, it's difficult as well because this is the first sort of season without my uh, Alaskan Malamal Sabre. Um, we lost him back in January. So that's really, really tough. And I think about him so much. And you know what? It's he. We he passed away on January the twenty seventh. And all of those months without him, it literally feels like we lost him literally only days ago. And it's still very tough. It's still very raw. And when you come back into the house, you still think you're gonna, you still think you're gonna hear him, and you still think he's gonna come running to the door. And yeah, that's tough. So this season, I'm really, as we go into the autumnal season, I'm. I am finding things difficult, but I'm sure my family are as well. But sometimes, even though you just don't talk about it, it's we we kind of know. I think because we're such a close family, it's it's there, isn't it? We talk about it. It's there. I try and keep in touch with all three of my brothers. I try and take time to talk to them about everything. They've all got very busy lives, and um, and 
it's it's hectic it's hectic but i do truly believe that you 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 take time for the ones you love and the ones you think of the most um i'm very close to my parents um incredible incredible i'm absolutely gift from god um my parents and my my brothers are very very special mean a lot to me um and my nieces and nephews are as well um unfortunately i don't see two of them um but i always think about them i always think about what they're doing and, and they're always in my heart um from a sad situation but um but I do see um, my my niece my nieces and nephews and the, and they, uh, they they mean the world to me so it's lovely to be able to go and do something with them today it's really really nice um, I only wish I felt more well and healthier to be able to run around and do things I have to admit but um it's something which I put a smile on it's like a bit of an impression sometimes but no it's good it's um. It, it's great to talk, it's great to be open, that's partly why I'm doing this clip, it's a Saturday, the weekend is obviously a downtime for us all if you've been working, or it might not be, your, my, your weekend, my previous job, my weekend was in the week, it was two days in the week, which was great, but it used to be annoying sometimes, because every time when everyone had the weekend off, I would be working, um, so that would be quite tough, but um, yeah, that's me, so I wonder what you're doing this weekend, I hope that you're having a safe one, stay safe, look after yourselves and your family, um, and enjoy take time really enjoy the small moments in life watch a film watch a movie whatever you call it have some snacks have some drinks make something do something spontaneous do something together do something with your family pick up the phone speak to someone you haven't spoke to for a long time weekends are amazing enjoy it because it's soon monday isn't it just honestly and then that feeling when you're back into work and you've got a list as long as your arm to do um but yeah that's me so i'm looking at this hope you like the hair by the way we're doing that on the channel of course all the time this is very silvery this is from Fanola no yellow shampoo so this looks really really metallic at the moment and i absolutely love it i've got a mark across my nose here as well it's not sort of a blemish or anything what happened in the week is i was at work um i work from home at the moment i have my glasses on and I bent down to something and the frame pushed onto my head and I, I caught the glasses and it scratched into my nose. So that's quite sore. So if you're looking at that, it's nothing there. I've still got, <laughs> I've, I've just had a bit of an injury across with my glasses there. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching this. It means the world to me. My channel is going from strength to strength. I get some incredible comments. They mean the world to me. I take time to look at them all and reply to them all. So thank you very, very much from that. It means the world from the bottom of my heart. So thank you. And I have very much enjoyed this clip. So it's Saturday. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the people around you. Have a great weekend. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now.